Jeez. Happy now. Now is the vibrate. Now is the vibrate. I like saying I like that. I don't know. <laughs> Not too far in the future. Not too far in the past. Right now. Which I think too that I do be like I no, no sleep on my guy like a little like I could imitate and do voices and stuff like that, which I'ma soon start implementing that into my videos and stuff. So if I sound like I, I got like a, a a Tourette's where I just got randomly imitating a person or making little don't oh mind me, it's all good. It's just that universal source expressing itself, you know, through through me. That's all it is. <laughs> but I wanna get to to the people, you know, or get to the subject of, you know, like how some people, you know, they don't want to believe in stuff, like they don't want to believe in these chakras, you know what I'm saying, they don't want to believe, like this pineal, like, Kari, what is you crazy? Meditation, what? Like, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you thinking these little crystals give off energy? Are you crazy? Even though the Bible talks about Aaron's chest plate with stones. Are you crazy? <laughs> but it's funny how, you know, people got this, uh, how can I say, you know, they subjective on what fairy tales they want to believe. You know what I'm saying? You know, you got some people that, like I say, the fairy tales they want to believe. They want to believe in JC, you know, a.k.a. Jesus Christ, you know. The fifth, uh, the fifth story, you know, matter of fact, and hold on just a second, like, cause I always like to have that information with me, but it's like the fifth installment or the fifth story of so many other, you know, beings, cause this, this chart I'm about to show you, I'm missing even more people from even further, you know, but there's just a few people who the incarnations and, and stories, you know, of Jesus Christ got like the little timeline. Hey, what Jesus at right here? Matter of fact, Krishna way up here, and then you got uh, Peru and all set, uh, Mayat and Horus. You know what I'm saying? That became came before Krishna. You know that that the original picture of uh, like the original picture of uh, like the the mother with the with the son sitting on the lap. You know what I'm saying? That like. The Mary and, and Jesus picture and that statue, that's like the fifth installment of, you know, of an old story. And I tell people, I mean, you know, say for instance, hypothetically speaking, you know, all right, I'm born January 5th, you know, uh, I, uh, I say for instance, I got certain events that only I did or, you know, just certain things that's particular to my life. All right, born January 5th, got dreadlocks, named car rate, born of a lady named Barbara, this and that, all right, cool. And then a thousand years later, this story come up again. You know, man, somebody named, which it may not be close to my name, but something, you know, born on January 5th, and his mom name was Barbara, and she was the same as this. And then, and then a thousand years down the line from that, somebody come with that same story. And yeah, and this is Corey, born on January 5th. And then, and then somebody come again and like, ah, born on that. So point being, when it gets down to the fifth installment of that same story, how in the hell should that be the most believable story and the most relevant story? When, I mean, for the most part, not not the people who sheeple, but the could be real. But the people who pushing it on you know that shit fake. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? How could the last story of something that came way back when be the be the 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 thing that you should worship and give more? You know, give more clarity to give more. You know what I'm saying? How could I say? Like make it seem like it's more real, but that's like the fifth story. It's almost like, like I said, it's like worshiping, like say for if I'm, if my story is the story that came first and the story that people want to glorify, but somebody end up worshiping like a fake made up person, like that's the fifth installment of my life story. You know, like what type of sickness and psychotic shit is that? You know, like point blank period. 
like a, I, I be babyfying a lot of this psychotic behavior, you know what I'm saying? Like, but every now and then it's like, nah, there's no good way to to talk about psychotic behavior, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it is what it is, you know? And then it's the forcing of, like, with OJC, you know, it, like, he come, he had to be from, all right, go along with the story. He had to be from the Middle East or somewhere where his skin would be bronze, so he won't be a, a European. And then it's understood that that picture of Jesus, you know what I'm saying, is Caesar Barger, you know what I'm saying? It's one of the kings at the time, little nephew or something like that. They told uh, Leonardo da Vinci, or one of them, like, the paint my nephew call is Jesus. You know, the letter J didn't even exist when Jesus was walking the earth, you know what I'm saying? No other none of the disciples' names, you know what I'm saying? But like all this is esoteric information anyway. Like the twelve disciples, that's all symbolism. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I tell people too. Like, yeah, there's things in the Bible that in essence are true, you know what I'm saying? Even down to, you know, dealing with Jesus' life, but not but it's not that it's for you to look at it straight at face value of the story, like he actually broke bread. And he actually, no, it's a personification of st the energy dealing with, you know, your shack, the energy, dealing with your pioneer gland, because pioneer gland, because like Shu, uh, like you get Jesus too, like from the word Yeshua, you know, and Shu, Shu meaning air, you know what I'm saying? You get your Shu right, you move that shack, the energy from from the root chakra with that shit and all that, you know, your root chakra by your ass, you know, in the, the manger where all that shit was at where Jesus was born, you know. And two, when the development of when you're being born, you know, your root chakra is one of the first things to develop, you know, in your fetus or whatever. But, you know, so from the root to go up and be seated at the right hand and forward, and then, you know, that energy descends back down, you know, the kundalini energy and goes back down to to the sexual area because also a lot of the biblical stuff is talking about like it's talking about magic you know sexual magic like the different metaphysical energies that we give off and you know use like all that has to do with that the seven seals of solomon is your seven chakras you know what i'm saying like but all this you know and, and here it is that you know i got evidence of all this chakras you know back to the subject you know i got evidence of all these chakras and all this but People like, oh, I know you crazy and this and that, but you, but you could blindly believe in a in a white savior whose story is proven to be a borrowed story, who we know to, you know, where if he did exist in that time and area, he wouldn't be that pigmentation. You know what I'm saying? Like, we know all these things about it, but yet you still blindly, you know, worship him. And another subject I want to get to to do an experiment. Look at the people in life, you know, look at all the, the millionaires and the people, the entrepreneurs and people doing good with their business and stuff like that. And this is by majority because what I'm about to say, because you might find some of them that slip through the cracks in which I still think like they might praise Jesus and oh Lord in front of you, you know, on TV and all this shit, but they doing the right shit behind the scenes, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, that, in which that's the whole 1% of thing, like they make you think this shit right while they behind the scenes doing the shit that's right you know doing the shit they're supposed to do you know to attain the things you want and stuff because god put us here to to be just like him where this universe is our oyster like we meant to have whatever and everything we want and we could manifest there's no lack of anything that mind frame has been placed on people so other people could take everything you know what i'm saying but like it, it, it's people with, with with that mind frame you know what i'm saying where it's like, you know, like I say, pay attention to the rich people. I say rich, not just rich. People that's, you know, abundance doing things. Like uh, when I think of this, I think of like uh, Russell Simmons, uh, Jay-Z, like any, any, any mogul people, uh, and even low-level people where, you know, like where uh, the brethren Bob, uh, should, like Damon Marlin, my brethren and stuff, you know, like any anybody that's getting money, you know, on that level and that's has a success level that high and then look at the people who don't you know what i'm saying and then look at who oh lord my lord see jesus jesus gonna save me jesus gonna do this jesus. you know look at how far the people jesus oh jesus oh, my lord i got a good lord and a good look at how much those people have in life 
and, and how much you know because as much as they oh they got jesus and they life is good this and that they always like oh help in this situation help in this situation help you know what i'm saying like if if jesus was so real and so uh you wouldn't be you know, you would be just as prosperous as those people who you think is devil devil worshiping, you know what I'm saying? Like all 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 the people doing yoga and all the things that's really spiritually antagonizing, you, people that's meditating, you know what I'm saying, understand that the religion and all this is a control system. You know what I'm saying? That this church is not the temple you should be in and that that preacher is a false prophet, that you is the inner works, you know what I'm saying? You know, pay attention to people who know about the inner works and pay attention to people who worship outside their body and see who manifests more of what they're looking for in life. You know what I'm saying? Point blank, period. You know what I'm saying? Because it's always like, oh, yeah, the light bears and they always. And, but Jesus got to come through. There's a reason why you like end up, keep messing up, or why you always keep having these mishaps, or why. You know, as much as you praise for this abundance, you're only getting this much. You know what I'm saying? Because realize, man, it's people who pray for abundance on high levels with Jesus, be in church every day, damn near. But they'll never get, they'll never sniff the abundance close to, you know, when you understand that God is within and you're not worshiping and looking for no spaghetti monster in the sky, but that, you know, source is within, you know what I'm saying? Once you realize that, you know what I'm saying? And what's funny, people realize it within the people, like, you know, people realizing it within me, you know what I'm saying? Where they low key don't want to just go head first into the things I'm talking about, and, you know, and seeing how I'm living and eating and stuff. But they do kind of like behind the scenes, like low key see, like, all right, man, I'm seeing that, you know, he manifesting things different. He's getting, he's becoming an entrepreneur now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's because I'm not, I'm not going outside my body. I'm not, cause that's another thing. You worshiping a blank entity. You know, Jesus Christ is that's a fake entity in essence. You know what I'm saying? Like. Of course, like, like, cause even how I showed you Krishna, Lord Krishna, and Christ, Krishna, Krishna, Christ. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes, that that Christ consciousness is is real. You know what I'm saying? That unconditional love. You know what I'm saying? Cause that's another thing with the story of of Christ. You know what I'm saying? That that fifth story of Christ. You know what I'm saying? Like, it it, it was just to show you the power of the heart of unconditional love. So you know, cause even then, like I tell people, you know what I'm saying? Like. It's still okay to read the shit. I'm just telling you, know what you're reading and know where, where they're trying to manipulate you at and where, you know, what stuff real at, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, pay attention to the people who who just crazy about JC. Like, thank the, thank JC for everything. And then I'll be, like, on my Facebook. I'll be, like, I'll be about to <laughs> throw up like that, y'all. Please. Because, matter of fact, I noticed that on a DMT trip too, like un like vibrations, lower vibrations or vibrations that's just like, ugh, like it don't make no sense. It's just like, wow, you know, fake vibrations, like it make you nauseated. So like, oh, like, like, oh my lord. And which is one of the things where I always say to each his own, but for for the people that that I care about and the people that want to be around me, you know what I'm saying then nah, you cannot, like that JC stuff, man, you know, leave that, where is that? Cause man, I found another thing, I forgot about the sun, the sun cycle where it comes up December 25th and, and goes down a different place around April, Easter. Matter of fact, Easter was, Easter was a holiday before Jesus existed. You know, Ishtar, you know, fertilization, the egg, that's why you play with eggs on Easter, Ishtar, fertilization, as a matter of fact, Ishtar, I think, has to do with uh, ISIS, I'm, if I am mistaken, but I'm going to retract from that, so don't don't play on that information so much, but too, I thought about, though, I think, because like Starbucks, as a matter of fact, are down to the I-Rod, the Rod Shop, and the, the Ishtar with uh, Starbucks, you know what I'm saying, like using these symbols, because they know it resonate with our soul, you know what I'm saying, they pull you in bringing that revenue, you know what I'm saying, but anyway, you know what I'm saying, like all this, this, this worshiping this fake person, man, like you gotta stop it, man, because how, like, and then, like, you worship all these fake things, and, and you worshiping things without evidence, here it is, I'm talking about pyramids, and meditation, and things, where I got books, 
I got books on books and I got crystals and all this to like Aaron's breastplate with the 12 zodiac sign that's in the Bible. I, I could take your own Bible and disprove your foolishness. You know what I'm saying? Which is crazy. You know what I'm saying? I could take every I, I take information, but then you could just like, nope, but I don't believe it. Or, nah, because my Jesus is this and that, but I, I ain't never seen him. We can't find a sandal from Jesus. You know, can't find a damn piece of cloth from Jesus, even though our pyramids stand the test of time, even older time. Like everything, like the pyramids, all this is older than, than Jesus' story, let alone some type of clothing or artifact or even a burial site. You know, and, it, and, and, it, and if he's so prosperous and this and that, like you make him up to be, as a matter of fact, that's how you know shit a lie like catholic that catholic religion is devilish just they are about protecting their lives and shit they're gonna make sure so if they if they had some shit for jesus oh that shit would have a fucking golden light they would probably build a fucking golden light or satellite from the sky that could shine down on that fucking area you feel me if that shit was real you know like come on man you know how they work if it was some shit that they could even find, but there's no evidence. They can't to the point where that's why they switching. If you look in the National Geographic and shit like that, they kind of swing you into other civilizations because they, they know that that jig is up. You know what I'm saying? Like, and like I be telling people too, or like I've heard before too, they may, have, they may try to put a false prophet in front of us. So watch out for somebody looking like a hippie. You know what I'm saying? That, you know what I'm saying? That's going to look like Cesar Barger, you know, trying to be a savior. It's going to be some trigger, especially if the news putting it on blast. Then for sure, <laughs> just go the other way. Look, source, source don't deal with trickery, man. Love, unconditional love has nothing to do with trying to fake or manipulate somebody's mind. You know what I'm saying? Like, and here it is that people, like I say, believe in these things with, with just no evidence, damn near, just blind faith. And here it is that, you know, I got faith with my thing, but I'm also not, it's not blind faith. Like I got books and, and situations in my face that let me know that, that, you know, God moves the way, you know, how could I say, through us, you know what I'm saying? Not through these other things that other people try to make it out to be. But, you know, I got all this proof. And ignorance, the truth and knowledge, you know what I'm saying, doesn't have to prove itself to ignorance. So I don't have to, when, when people be like, oh, what's the evidence? No, no, what I need you to do is since you they saying, feeling like I'm wrong, and then give me the evidence that, 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 that you got that could disprove all my shit. Don't come and just say no just because no. And that lets you know it's, that's where, where there's no substance in religion, then the people have no substance. So they can't even have, they can't even batter you. I ain't say batter. They can't even have a conversation back and forth this situation because there's no substance to nothing they believe in. So even when, when trying to disprove you, they have no substance. Like, oh, nah, just because nah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, what? You want me to actually have this conversation with you right now? Like, I'm not about to waste my energy with you. Like, you know what? Just take your no substance and stay, you know? Because that's another thing I know. Everything takes its course. Like, let, you know, if that person is meant for you to be with, what you what you got right there, you know what I'm saying? But like, they got the people. As a matter of fact, like, you know, revisiting how when I used to go to, to Free Speech Alley in front of LSU and you had the people like, if you're not, if you don't believe in this, you're going to hell. If your sandals too tight, you're going to hell. If this and that, you know, like, damn, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and then, but they don't have, like, you know, no full evidence of uh, shit, you know. Or uh, here it is that, like I said, got evidence within their own Bible, like, where they look at my crystals, oh, like, what the, the craziness that is, you know, like, oh, no, the, you remember the stones from Aaron's chest plate, you know what I'm saying? Aaron's chest plate. Like those, these little stones, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, but you don't believe in that part about it. And I figure, and that's where it just gets silly, you know what I'm saying? But, and the only reason why I'm giving this energy, because I just, like, I just be still wanting to help my people, man. Because living that lie, bro, matter of fact, that's detrimental, too, for sure, for, 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 for the melanated com community, you know what I'm saying? Because we have, that is not 
like that is a, a fake history and, and something that was turned into something just so you know a, a, a European a white person could have some type of you know place in in, 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 a, in a in a spiritual I guess not spiritual history but you know what I'm saying so so it could have like a messiah or something you know what I'm saying that's all Jesus is you know what I'm saying just to give that you know that that and I am gonna say white supremacy. I'm just say you know to give give it a face. You know what I'm saying to give the European a spiritual face. You know like all right, this is the person we could, and in which you know I like in times in my heart I be trying to like let people have their own. You know what I'm saying, but too and then but but when the shit get pushed on my people and then it get pushed on on people in general around me in a way where it's making them ignorant you know what i'm saying that is a that is ignorant like all religions is a form of ignorance because you're screaming peace but you're fighting over it that's ignorant you know what i'm saying stop it you know what i'm saying how in the fuck and i'm not an excuse my thing how in the fuck somebody meditating and being peaceful and really getting close to God is seen as not getting close to God as compared to somebody that goes to to church and talk about people every day as soon as they get out of church and and and, and got a strong belief in the religion uh, and, and something that's fighting and killing people, going overseas and fighting in the name of God and all this, you know what I'm saying? Like, where does that make sense? Only in a psychotic world, only in a world ruled by psychotic people who who have control over shit so they get to tell the masses, yeah, I know, this psychotic behavior is the norm. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's all they've been doing is trying to take the, the fucking, how could I say, shit that's not the norm, you know what I'm saying? Kind of like how I tell people, like, with the, uh, with, with the gay community or with, like, Hiroshima, all this, you know, these things have turned into the norm, but that's not the norm, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, but yes, after so much fetal estrogen in the soy being that Monsanto created, you know what I'm saying, getting pushed into Similac and all this, and it's proven, you know, go sit down somewhere or come to me and let's, let's talk facts, you know what I'm saying, but this fetal estrogen get pu pushed in the male, so over time, you know, males are going to develop gay tendencies, that's a fact, you know what I'm saying, but just because they develop this don't mean that this is normal. No, this is just became normal because the the sick people at the top want you to be like them and want that to be normal. You know what I'm saying? Hey, being sick like me is normal. No. You know what I'm saying? And no knock to, like I said, everybody each his own. But don't tell me that's normal, though. Don't come around me telling that. No, because that's a lie and that's fake. And don't push that shit on people because that's not, that's not righteous. It's not being real when it's not, you know what I'm saying? Same thing with, like I say, with Hiroshima, you know what I'm saying, with the children being born. Like, children being born with all these extra limbs and stuff. Yeah, nowadays that, that became the norm. But that's not normal, you know what I'm saying? That has become the norm. Why? Because of some shit that was man-made happen. Just like I say, the fetal estrogen, bloom, oh, not homosexuality, you know what I'm saying? All this power, bam, a bomb in Hiroshima, now all these people being born, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's all implemented. You know what I'm saying? We were born without flu shots and all these type of things. You know what make you think you need it now? This is all things that, you know what I'm saying? And just pay attention. I get riled up, like, when I'm like, if I love delivering information like this because it's coming straight from the heart, straight from the throat chakra. I don't like, you know, when it gets like this, too, I don't bite my tongue, so I don't care if I hurt anybody's feelings when, when, the people feelings who I may be hurting, maybe, you know, people that's lying or, you know, people that just don't understand, you know, like, I can't apologize for psychotic behavior, you know what I'm saying? I can't apologize for, for, for making a person who has psychotic behavior mad, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, it's like, like me having apologized for, to a child molester for saying he molested his little kids, you know, that's a fact. That a child, you know, that a child molest and molest a little kid. So when I say that, hey, that child molest and molest little kids, you know, like I shouldn't be, you know. So when I speak on different things, when I talk on slavery and talk about how many black people that hung and all this, like, yeah, I don't have to shush, you know. I talk about all these things, like, no, 
They're lucky that's all it is, is just somebody talking. You know what I'm saying? For the most part. You know what I'm saying? So, let alone, you know what I'm saying? So, never bite your tongue on that type of information. That's another thing, because that's where people resonate. And that's another thing, too, because people see me. You know what I'm saying? People know I ain't got no hate in my heart. You know what I'm saying? People are all colors and creed, you know what I'm saying? No matter white, black, whatever, whatever. I don't even like using those terminologies. You know, we just got different levels of pigmentation in our skin, different levels of melanin. You know what I'm saying? But people know and understand that, you know, I ain't got no, no type of, you know, but. And I ain't say but. But people know that I'm also keep it real. And if keep it real mean, you know, keeping it real about a fucking crooked ass slave master who was trying to control you with a fake ass story about Jesus Christ to create a white messiah to brainwash you. You know what I'm saying? That's true facts. You know, matter of fact, anybody that's mad and seeing me as somebody that's bad is a racist person. That seeing me as taking away their privileges. You know what I'm saying? Basically, if you hate what I'm saying, that means you're just trying to keep things the way they are. You know? Like, I have a, I have no problem with somebody who, you know what I'm saying, who, like, you know, who unfortunately may hate me because they on the evil side of things, you know what I'm saying? I have no problem with that. Because, look, I'm, I'm love. I'm positive energy. I'm a, look, I'm a love you to, look, I'm going to give you a hug. I'm going to send you this, this love, man. This, like, this love, man. Shut up, like, Christ-like consciousness, man. This is love, man. Love and truth, bro. <laughs> love and truth, bro. And that's all I'm trying to get people up on, man. Like, I'm tired of the lies, and I'm tired of my people living them lies, man. I see people on their Facebook, like, you know, praising Jesus Christ to the highest, and they ain't getting nothing out of it. And But then looking at me crazy, and it's like, damn, how could you do that? And then back door and, and, and call yourself, you know, and, and then... How I say, call yourself grown and have to raise some kids and give somebody some advice. Like, how could the person who doesn't take, you know, physical evidence and ancient books and stuff, evidence and just shit you could see as evidence, the person that doesn't take that evidence and chooses to be a part of a control system and a religion with a lack of evidence and that has the most blind fate. Matter of fact, Somebody who has more blind faith than their own kids, but then to turn around and tell their kids that their ma imaginary friend is fake. And that kid, matter of fact, kids so much of an indigo, so much on that spiritual level truly, where they probably tell their parents, no, mama, Jesus Christ is fake. Your imaginary friend is fake. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you got your own imaginary friend, but then you'll fuck around, turn around, and tell a little kid. When it's true that little kids can feel things from the unseen. That's why these movies come out with the little kids, always the first one to see the, the ghosts, all this. You know what I'm saying? Because they just come from heaven. You know what I'm saying? They just come from the other realm. You know what I'm saying? Kids and children move through us. They're not ours. They come from God, and they move through our bodies. You know what I'm saying? But how could a person, you know, believe in this fake imaginary friend that they call Jesus Christ with no evidence, you know, where they got so much evidence against it and so much evidence towards the other stuff, you know what I'm saying? No evidence towards this. You sit around and tell your kid, go sit in that corner. Oh, you crazy. Stop having that imaginary friend. Ain't no such thing as an imaginary friend. And then you taking them to church and blind worshiping. No, how do you make sense? And then that kid growing up, don't let that kid be an indigo kid or a kid that really, because then you done lost, you done lost your, you know, your, your kid, you know. Not like you possess your kid anyway, but you know, you done lost that bond. Because uh, just like with me, once I realized that, man, my people had me going to church and this shit, but which, in that case, too, you know, don't just, you know, just, how could I say, you know, our parents, you know, were taught a certain way, you know, and, you know, were brainwashed with certain things, and it's hard to get that brainwashing out, and they didn't mean no harm when they raised us the way they raised us, you know, they ain't, they wasn't, they didn't get no manual saying, all right, here's how to raise the indigo child, you know, as soon as, you know, they had us, you know, they didn't have that pamphlet, so you can't get mad at the way they, they raised us or whatever, because they only did the best that they could and the only way they knew how, you know. 
But just speaking on that subject though, man, you know, like how could a parent make sense believe in in in, in the spaghetti monster in the sky and believing in, you know, like just where they, they worship, you know, without the evidence, you know what I'm saying? Like they you know, we got evidence of the true spirituality right here. And they on you know, on the blind faith. Shit that's known to be a system to just throw people off and not be real anyway. But, you know, you got somebody worshiping this imaginary stuff, but then to tell their kid, No, nah, you tripping, your imaginary friend is fake and you need to go see a pediatric psychologist. So, you know, you need to see a psychologist. So, we need to fix this. What? And that's the same person that's going to be somebody's uh, governor and then eventually president. So, that person with that mind frame eventually runs your country, possibly. Which, what's funny, though, they don't. <laughs> the people who run this country have esoteric and occult knowledge and they use it. They fake like they go to church in front of y'all and shit. <laughs> Matter of fact, Ronald Reagan had an astrologist that he would consult before he did his paperwork, before he signed any paperwork. So think about that. You know, to say people knowing what's real. You know, they, they know astrology real and shit. They gonna tell you, oh, my Lord, say to Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. I bet you, yeah, Reagan probably told you. I wonder, I never pay attention, but he probably told you about Christ and all that, him and Nancy, you know, but they, but they knew the real, you know what I'm saying, but that's all I have on that subject, man, I just want to, you know, just share and just talk about, you know, like, and tell people, man, you got to get off of, you know, this, this falsehood, man, these imaginary friends and imaginary beliefs, and man, when I say imaginary friends, you know, I'm talking about JC. Like my brother and Bobby him and <laughs> Oh, JC. <laughs> oh, JC gonna have y'all in a world of trouble, man. And pay attention to the times, man. Look at it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Look at it. Like I say, look at the people meditating and eating right, living right, and treating people with the true Christ-like consciousness. You know what I'm saying? I'm walking around really treating people like Christ. I'm not going to church and then talking shit about somebody while I'm in church and then talking about them when I get out of church. And uh, But then, right, but I only change for right when it's time to go to church. And what kind of change is that in your life? You know, what are you really doing? You know what I'm saying? But to each his own. That's why they say some of us chosen. Some of us gonna fall to the wayside. I'm just throwing that little, I'm throwing that, I'm basically this video is throwing that little raft out there and trying to pull some of y'all in, man. Get y'all out of that water to help y'all, you know, before you end up drowning. That current ain't got strong enough yet, but that current about to get strong and all that fake JC stuff. You don't wanna, you don't wanna be on that side of stuff in a few, you know what I'm saying, like, cause it, you won't be getting no real spiritual power, you're gonna need, you know, real, you know, you're gonna need to know about the chi energy in your body, real spiritual energy, you know what I'm saying, that, that story tells of the person who they can't even find a sandal for, can't even find one of Jesus' sandals, but they want you to, you know, know and worship him like, you know. Peace. Happy now. Matter of fact, they even had Jesus, you know, what they say it was Jesus, but he even spoke on the law of attraction in the Bible, you know. Ye see it, ye shall have it. You know, being timeless in the now, you know, building that temple up. Jesus was talking about this temple. Jesus. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But let me finish this video. <laughs> Peace, happy now, not too far in the future, not too far in the past, right now, now's the vibrate, man, put away them old belief systems, man, that religion and stuff gonna get you killed, man, and I get you killed cause we, you know, we, we never die, we energy in motion, but it could, it could mess up your soul and have you, you know, back into the reincarnation process without the memory of being here before because you know your belief system wasn't wasn't right you know that's a lesson you learn you keep pressing that reset button to probably like two to come back and realize like hey 
Like that's not what the business is. Something else for you. But peace. I'm out. <laughs>